Back in spring, the chilies blossomed. As the plants continued to photosynthesize, the young fruits of the chilies began to grow. Now in summer, photosynthesis is at full pace and sunlight and carbon dioxide are in ample supply. But now it's up to Sarah to provide the third crucial ingredient for photosynthesis, water. Most photosynthesis happens in the leaves, but the water doesn't enter the plant through the leaves, it has to come through the roots. Tiny root hairs, a single cell thick, penetrate the soil. The water enters the plant by a process called osmosis. But to reach the photosynthesizing leaves, somehow the water needs to defy gravity. It's in the leaves themselves that this process begins. On the underside of the leaves are tiny pores, stomata. When they open, water evaporates and escapes into the air. The water passes through the roots and is now sucked upwards through thin veins called xylem vessels. The water finally enters the leaves to be used for photosynthesis or to evaporate and start the whole process again. <laughs> 